Guys, make sure you stay till the end of the video for a very special announcement regarding Evo in the Rough. Okay, but now, enjoy the video. All right, trip B. This officially marks the start of our tour. From now until the Disc Golf Pro Tour finale, we're leaving grandma's house. And my grandma might be selling her house, so this might be the last time I ever be in the house that I basically grew up in, so that's kind of sad. I hope they don't sell it, but we'll see. We'll be watching this grandma. Um, yeah, today we're driving from Colorado to somewhere in Nebraska. And yeah, I'm gonna hope to get to Delo to get eaten by mosquitoes by Monday. And for those of you who don't know, we're in a new truck, Toyota Tacoma. Got a tonal cover, tried to get everything in the back, but not quite, but this is kind of all the stuff that probably shouldn't go in the back. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. I didn't see a sign because I think they tore it down, but yep, we're in. Welcome to Nebraska. Welcome to Nebraska. Wow, they didn't know Siri said that. <laughs> see, fancy new car it does fancy new things. Nebraska, fun fact, I've been to probably, this is my third time in Nebraska. Never thrown a disc here. That might change, but it probably won't. I've heard good things about the course in Kearney, Nebraska, but if I have a Nebraskan viewer, comment down below what, what's the best course in Nebraska, because maybe I'll play it someday, but not today, because my butt is shutting down. I need to do some disc golf strong glutes, glute workouts. But about to get on 80, and then it's basically 80 all the way to Michigan, minus the last little bit. So really boring so far but we got podcasts music and soon to be chips to keep us entertained uh, I have a pitch TV show pitch the outlet towns of America, they're always in like these little places that are always so transient along an interstate. And I think it'd be a really good like Netflix show, say it'd be called like, I live in an outlet town USA. And it would just be about like all the, the dark happenings of the people who come through an outlet town. And you know, you can, you can run with that idea with what you will. Anybody who's like a TV producer watching this, I'd love to see it. I'll watch your show. Um, so. going to my favorite breakfast place maybe in the world actually no not in the world top three Anna's house it was voted number one best breakfast in Michigan oh, I'm so excited and Michigan scruff is coming in nicely
Put the red chip. Is this O is this OB? No, my bot's not OB. It's OP. <laughs> <laughs> A little drift. It's yeah. a little drift. Tokyo drift. Drift it up. Oh! Du, 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 du. Doomed. I wonder <laughs> if you know how to see me, Tokyo. <laughs> so hard. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go. In the hole. Nice! Drift it! Oh, cat. Oh, okay. There's no food. Rick Penn, he's doing exactly what a Mickey Man does. Alright, let's go. <laughs> the cat is 100% in the bag. Very confidential stuff right here. Alright, I got coconut oil in my mouth. And people always ask, why do you swish coconut oil in your mouth? It's because it's antibacterial, helps whiten your teeth, and it just helps your face orifice. We saw Space Jam tonight, and it got terrible reviews, and I could see why, but I didn't hate it like they did. I thought it was actually pretty funny. I laughed a lot. <laughs> LeBron's acting so bad, but it's also comedically bad. And you know, he's kind of self-aware. He made fun of himself in the movie, so honestly, very enjoyable, in my opinion. Not good, but enjoyable. Playing GK Pro Skins tomorrow, and then the tournament. Can't wait. Uh. First place and defending champion, Eagle there McMahon. <laughs> it, it feels pretty incredible. The, the fact that I had pretty much the same putt as last year, and uh, you know, making that putt is just like such a, it just makes it all worth it. You know, all the work I put in and uh, you know, with all the fans here, I think uh, Worlds had like 1500 people. There was like 2000 here. Just how big disc golf is getting, it's absolutely insane. And you know, to, to make that putt in front of you guys, it was really incredible. And uh, you know, shout out to Kyle Klein. It's absolutely insane. I was, I was nine down through 10 and I was just thinking that I would start front running but uh little did i know that kyle was so close behind and you know i took the foot off the gas for a few holes and he was right there and you know he tied it up i really couldn't believe it um so a shout out to him he's an incredible competitor and it's a true honor the fact that i could compete against him and uh that you know he's a part of disc mania and you know he's, he's the future of our company so i'm really proud that you know he was the one giving me a run for uh, my money so uh you know shout out to him I want to thank Discmania, Grip Equipment, Disc Golf Strong, Backstage Organics, Will Sacks, and Huck Lab. And I want to thank all you guys. Thanks. Woo! So, what happened? Same thing as 2020. Just better. It was a tougher course, and I had to focus so much to win. It was honestly just crazy in retrospect I can't believe that I did it but you know in the moment I was living in the moment I had to maximize my potential in each moment I had in order to get to where I wanted to be so uh, it just was a lot of taking deep breaths a lot of telling myself you know don't don't dwell on the future and also don't dwell on the past too much so it just 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 trying to find the fine line between the two was was key and uh you know to to beat to beat kyle is really cool um you know he's so good and if he keeps getting better then it's going to be even tougher to hold him off 
and uh, you know it's not it's not a good sign for me in the future but you know I got to do everything I can to you know sharpen my blade to uh, to award him off but you know I'm really happy that he's my teammate he's part of this mania so uh, you know the shield is strong kudos to that. Kyle good job kudos to Kyle so driving to Dana's I know Joey filmed my little uh, my little uh, speech but I'm gonna cut to the outro because I have I have the announcement I want to make that I mentioned at the start of the video so wait till the end it's very important all right we're gonna drive to Dana's and get a good head start for Minneapolis Minneapolis I said it wrong all right Okay, it's now the outro time. I'm here in Minnesota getting ready for the preserve. Got a sweet Airbnb with a lake behind me. There's Simon and Joey playing on the boat. Simon was trying to get pulled by uh, Joey on his tube, but the tube deflated and sad times. I said all that really need to be said about d -Glow. You know, last round of, uh, you know, shout out, shout out to Kyle, shout out Dismania, shout out to the staff, shout out to Don and Matt Lacey for letting us stay at their home. Uh, shout out to Ratana. You know, I'm just, I have a great network of support. So uh, I'm very grateful to all of them. About that announcement that I mentioned at the start of the video. So, Eagle in the Rough, this is going to be the last episode on YouTube because I'm launching a Patreon. And Eagle in the Rough is a really cool way to show you guys what my life kind of looks like. With disc golf growing so much, I kind of want it to be to more of a select group of people, like my core fans. So the best way for me to do that is by making a Patreon, and that's going to allow me to incorporate you guys into you know, what kind of content you want to see, seeing behind the scenes of what I do on a kind of a, a monthly or weekly basis, how I prepare for tournaments, and it's gonna allow me to do some really great contests for a lot of game use stuff I have and uh, basically exclusive uh, Eagle swag. So, uh, you know, the first thing that I'm gonna be doing a contest for as the initial uh, Patreon offering, I'm gonna be giving, uh, giving out this game used Eagle bag. This actually, this is, has won about three pro tours. So it's a very special bag. One of the books that has really helped me in my life, uh, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Really great book that, you know, basically will get you where you need to go. Uh, new Eagle jersey, Eagle hat, and four discs. Uh, old Withers Gator that I used to throw. New Soft Logic new prototype P2 and a very special S-Line DD3 with a bottom stamp, Eagle stamp, stamp by myself at the warehouse. So this is only gonna be the first contest on Patreon and there's gonna be many more to come. So please go check out the link down below and it's gonna have all my different tiers there. It's gonna be different incentives. So uh, yeah, this is a new endeavor. Um, gonna have a lot of cool bloopers, behind the scenes content. Uh, for example, Calvin, Joey, Thomas and I went to play golf in Emporia. We have some footage from there that I'm going to throw up there. So, you know, it's just going to be a place where, you know, you see what it looks like behind the scenes of my life. So uh, I appreciate you guys uh, for the journey. The practice rounds are still going to be up here. Other vlogs, you know, vlogmas type stuff still going to be on this channel. So you won't be left out, but the more personal, personable side of myself will be going on Patreon. So. If you guys want to join me on that journey, then uh, by all means, come on aboard. So, all right. That being said, I appreciate all of you. And until next time, keep on dreaming. Peace. <laughs>